than anyone could know He's the greatest dog ever I really think so Clifford's so loyal Clifford. He's there when you call I love Clifford, the big red dog So they packed up a family car And the Howards left the city They moved to Birdwell Island And there are many new friends There to greet Clifford and Emily Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all I love Clifford, the big red dog blanket, isn't it, Clifford? Woo. You go put your blanket away now, and I'll get you some breakfast, okay? Woo. Hey, Clifford! Clifford! Hi, guys. What's going on? Want to play a game of Super T-Bone with us? Cleo's gonna use the library steps as her spaceship. That's right. The evil fluffy face will land her spaceship right in the middle of Burnwell Island. That sounds great. Let's go. Hey, Clifford. What's this? Oh, that's my blanket. Oh, it's perfect. Just the right size to play with. Huh? Ugh. Hey, look. I'm a blue ghost. <laughs> Uh, that's funny, but, uh, it's not really a blanket for playing with, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, now I'm Rapunzel with my fancy long hair. Let me try, let me try. Look, it's the magic carpet. Come on, you guys, that's my favorite blanket. I don't really want you to play with it. Aw, oh, come on, Clifford. This blanket is too good not to play with. Look! It makes a perfect cape for Super T-Bone! Wow, it does make a pretty great cape. Yeah, but it's special to me. I don't want anything to happen to it. Please, Clifford! Nothing's gonna happen to it, right? Right! Right! Well, if you promise to be really careful... Oh, yeah! We will! Okay. Thanks. This is gonna be great! Come on, Clifford. We can't play without you. I, evil fluffy face, say that this entire planet is now mine! 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 Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 
You'll never get away with this, Fluffy Face. Oh, yeah? Really big, really red dog? Who's gonna stop me? Super T-Bone will. Help! Super T-Bone, help! Um, guys? Come on, T. You're supposed to come to the rescue. I know, but I can't be Super T-Bone without my cape. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Thanks. Okay, Clifford. Call him again. Help! Super T-Bone! Never fear! Super T-Bone is here! Whoa! Oh! Careful with my blanket! Give up, Fluffy Face! Hooray! Hooray for Super T-Bone! Ha-ha! <laughs> Perhaps you both forgotten about my... Uh... Super Freeze Ray Power Pods! Oh no, I'm frozen. Oh yeah, well, uh, my super powerful cape will just bounce your freeze ray back at you. Ay, you froze me back. Super T-Bone saves the world again. Not so fast, Super T. I was wearing my invisible freeze ray protector coat. I'm not really frozen. Oh, no! Now, Fluffy Face will steal Super T's super powerful cape. Hand it over, Super T-Bone. Never! <laughs> Guys, my blanket? Huh? <laughs> now I have all your powers. Okay, Cleo? Yeah, I'm okay. Cleo, look what you did to my blanket. It's ruined. No, <laughs> no, it's not. It's just a little muddy. Look at it. You guys promised you'd be careful with it. Now it's all dirty. It'll be okay, Clifford. You can just take it home and wash it after our game. No, I'm going to take it home right now. Clifford! Hey, Clifford! Oh, no. What happened to your blanket? It got all muddy, huh? Don't worry. We can take care of that. All it needs is a good wash. I'll be extra careful, and it'll be nice and clean in no time. Oh, thank you, Emily Elizabeth. It's gonna feel real good to get my blanket back. Now I just need my friends back. What's wrong with Clifford? Why did he take his blanket and just leave like that? I think he's upset because his blanket got dirty. It just got a little mud on it. He can always wash it. Yeah, but Clifford didn't really want us to play with this blanket in the first place. Remember? Well, yeah, but... And we did promise him we'd be extra careful with it. Remember? But it's just a blanket, T-Bone. Yeah, but remember when you got that great squeak toy? Of course I remember. It's still my very favorite. And remember how you didn't want anyone else to play with it? Yeah, so? Well, what if someone did play with it and then broke it? I would be so mad. See? B but that's different. My squeak toy is special. Clifford's blanket is special to him. <gasps> oh, yeah. He said it was special, huh? Neither one of us really listened to him. I think we should go and tell him we're sorry. That's a great idea. No wonder they call you Super T-Bone! Thanks, Cleo. Oh, I hope Emily Elizabeth can get my blanket clean again. Clifford? I am so sorry.
sorry, Clifford. You are? Uh-huh. You told us to be careful with your blanket. And we didn't listen. You didn't even want us to play with it in the first place. And we talked you into it. Can you forgive us, Clifford? Of course I can. But I hope next time I don't want you to play with something special of mine, you'll just say okay. Okay! Here you go, boy. Good as new. This will be dry in plenty of time for you to sleep with it tonight. <laughs> Well, guys, I feel a lot better. I'm glad. But I wonder whatever happened to the evil Fluffy Face. She raced back to her spaceship to take over the whole world. <laughs> Come on. Super T-Bone to the rescue. T-Bone, Cleo, wait for me! Show. One late afternoon, as the sun was setting, Speckle and his friends thought their fun was over for the day. Then they noticed their shadows stretching along the ground and making funny shadow shapes on the wall. It was so much fun, they decided to make their own shadow puppet show. Luna became a graceful swan. Darnell was a royal king. Speckle, Reba, and Ravi teamed up to be a big, friendly giant. It was great fun. But then, the sun finally disappeared and took their shadows with it. Until tomorrow. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Dino Clifford. I buried that bone somewhere around here. <laughs> hey, I found it! You did? Great! Where is it? <laughs> it's just a sock. <laughs> you know, T, I really don't think bone digging is your best thing. Let's go see. Hi, Vaz! Hi, Emily Elizabeth. Do you remember my sister, Teresa? Sure I do. But I thought you were away at college, Teresa. I am in college, but we have two weeks off now, so I came back to Birdwell Island to try and dig for dinosaur bone fossils. Dinosaur bones? Yeah, that's what Teresa studies at college. It's called paleontology. She's going to try to dig up some dinosaur bones right here on Birdwell Island. The island used to be filled with dinosaurs a long time ago. Teresa says I can help her dig for the bones. <laughs> They're not actually bones. They're really fossils of bones. Can I help you dig for bone fossils too? Of course. I can use all the digging help I can get. 
Well, if it's digging help you need, I know some great helpers. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> great. The more help, the better. Here's where I've been digging. Wow. Have you found any dinosaurs yet? <laughs> I'm afraid not. And there's a very good chance I never will find any. Really? Uh-huh. I'd be happy if we could just find one or two fossil bones. Well, I feel pretty lucky today. <laughs> good. What do you want us to do, Teresa? First, we have to dig much deeper to reach the layer of Earth where the dinosaur bones might be. Clifford can take care of that. Ruff, ruff. Go ahead, boy. Dig us a nice deep hole. Ruff. Wow. Clifford really is a terrific digger. Ruff. Did you find something, Clifford? Wow. I can hardly believe we really found a genuine dinosaur bone. And it looks like it's from a really big dinosaur. Clifford knows all about being really big. <laughs> Excuse me, Clifford Saurus. Could you please help me get across the river? Sure. Thanks. Woof. It could be that the rest of this dinosaur's bones are down there too. But how are we going to get down there? That's easy. Clifford can give us a lift. Woof, woof. Going down. Oh, boy. I can't wait to get down there and dig. Digging's not exactly your best thing, T-Bone. I know, but it's fun. And if I keep trying, maybe I can find a really big dinosaur bone, too. got there, T-Bone? It's a really nice bone, but I'm afraid it's not from a dinosaur. Thanks for trying, T. Boy, it sure is fun digging for dinosaur bones, isn't it? Yeah! I'm a lean, mean digging machine! Uh, okay, okay. Turn the machine off now, Cleo. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Mac. I found four big bones today. I found five. How many did you find, T? One! Well, that's pretty good. I think it was a chicken bone. Why don't you just give up, T-Bone? You haven't found a single dinosaur bone. I bet I'm gonna find one tomorrow. I can fill it in my bones. This dinosaur is really starting to look like a dinosaur. Yeah, it sure is. 
I wish I could have been there when this dinosaur was living. There weren't any humans around at that time, Emily Elizabeth. I know there weren't really any people around when dinosaurs were on the Earth, but what if there were? Again? <laughs> okay, boy. <laughs> I think your dinosaur friends want to play with you. <laughs> Go ahead. Go play. Dinosaurs sure are great. They sure are. Let's hurry and try to get this one put back together. I can't wait to see what he's gonna look like. Wow! This dinosaur's amazing! It's so exciting! Oh, it's wonderful. We were so lucky to have found all these bones. Teresa is going to give the skeleton to the Birdwell Island Museum so we can look at it anytime we want to. But it won't be quite as wonderful to look at unless we can find the one last bone we need to make his head stay on. What does the missing bone look like, Teresa? Well, it's pretty small. It's sort of like a pin. We'll just have to keep digging until we find it. Right, let's dig. I'm tired. We've been digging for four hours. I don't know if we're ever going to find that bone. <laughs> Boy, I feel like we've dug up this whole entire place. Oh, I think we should just give up and go home. Maybe we'll find it tomorrow. Hey, where's T-Bone? He's still working. He really wants to find that bone. Poor T-Bone. He never gives up. I don't think we're gonna find the bone today, Teresa. We're really sorry. We may never find it. Finding every bone fossil of an entire dinosaur is pretty rare. <coughs> hey, that's T-Bone. Maybe he found something. <coughs> 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 for finding the bone and for reminding all of us how important it is to keep trying and to never give up. Okay, everyone. I want to get a picture of all my helpers. T-Bone, I'd like you to stand right in the middle, please. Okay, everyone. Say dinosaur! Dinosaur! Every day on PBS Kids, Yay! hop on the trolley and get ready for a terrific good time. Hi, friends! All new Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. Streaming now, free on PBS Kids. It's going to be terrific. Hey, families, check out PBS Kids Family Night. You know what that means, don't you? Hmm. Friday night is family night. Oh! It's a chance to enjoy your favorite PBS Kids pals together with the entire family on, well, family night. I guess I said that already. Whoa, my brain just exploded. So we'll see you and your family on PBS Kids Family Night tonight at 7, 6 Central. Now this I gotta see. Clifford is funded in part by...
a Ready to Learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by contributions to your PBS stations from viewers like you. Thank you. Clifford says be the best red dog on your block. Visit your local library to discover all kinds of books, both big and small. Dig up more fun with Clifford and his friends at pbskids.org. all that yarn come from? <laughs> Who cares? What should we do with it? <gasps> Let's knit the world's biggest sweater. Or <laughs> play giant yarn ball soccer. Hey, give it back. <laughs> oh, nearly gotcha. Clean this up. Hmm. <gasps> well, we can make yarn masks. Good idea. Rawr! Or yarn wand. What else can we make? Bon appetit! Yum, yum! Ta -da! Wow! Who knew there was so much you could do with yarn? Huh. There's still a little left. <gasps> Whoa! The world's smallest sweater. It's just your size. Aw, thanks, Scribbles. I love it. Want to come make more art? You can draw, paint, and make a fun creation with us on the PBS Kids Games app. We'll see you there. It's Don Quixote on PBS Kids. The show about a fun group of pals and an extra special donkey. He awesome. She's figuring things out. Think Don Quixote, think. And coming up with answers. Uh -huh. Don Quixote, streaming now free on PBS Kids. Meet Miss O. Attention agents. Odd Squad's boss. Let's shake on it. Good work. Odd Squad, tonight at 8, 7 central.